In this video, we will show how our positive displacement pump, the PAH pump, is working. This is how our positive displacement pump looks inside. The pump has a simple design with only a few parts. The valve plate at the top and the swash plate at the bottom are fixed, whereas the rest of the parts are rotating. Our pump ensures constant flow regardless of pressure variations. The internal parts are rotated by the driving shaft. The pump is designed to handle tap water. The blue color shows fluid entering the pump as low pressure inlet. The red color shows fluid being pumped out as a high pressure outlet. During one rotation of the driving shaft, a piston has two states. State 1, which is the suction cycle, and state 2, which is the pumping cycle. During the pumping cycle, the piston is moving downwards and the fluid is entering the pump through the valve plate and fills the bore. The piston slipper is kept in contact with the swash plate by a retaining plate. During the pumping cycle, the piston is pushed upwards and the fluid is being pumped out through the valve plate at high pressure. The flow capacity of the axial piston pump is a result of the piston diameter, the piston stroke, the number of pistons, and the RPM of the driving shaft. We offer a pump range from 2 liters per hour to 147 liters per hour at 1500 RPM. For larger flows, Dan Foss recommends to place more pumps in parallel. This is not only simple, it also increases the uptime. The pumps are made in stainless steel, which makes them corrosion resistant and highly reliable. The PAH pumps are operating in a large number of systems worldwide, and they are based on well known Dan Foss technology. The pumps have a simple design, which makes them easy to maintain. As the pump is lubricated by the media itself, there is no risk of oil contamination or downtime due to oil service. All PAH pumps are compact and small, which makes them fit in where space is limited. There's no need for pulsation dampeners, as the high numbers of pistons provides a more stable flow. Additionally, the flow in the pump is considered pressure independent, which secures high efficiency at all operation points.